There is no conscience, no compassion, no humanity, no sense of ethics in this. It was a laboratory conceived in hell, a place where death was routinely harvested. Those who entered never left. To this day, the experiments remain shrouded in rumor. And when the evil finally ended, it only became compounded. The U.S. government not only knew about these atrocities, but covered up these medical atrocities in exchange for the medical data. Today, the crimes remain unpunished. Everybody got to with what they had done. We must have justice for the victims. It was called Unit 731, and this is its secret story. scientists, technicians, medical doctors, veterinarians, dentists, all sorts of professionally trained scientific personnel engaged in the most atrocious actions that one can imagine. They vivisected people, they cut them open while they were alive, sometimes even without the use of an anesthetic, showed the various parts of the human body as it was functioning. had a weird sense of humor. They referred to their victims as marutas, which is uh, loosely translated as logs. And that's how they thought of them, as pieces of wood, not as humans. You can carve them up, you can burn them in a fireplace. Who cares? that none of the guys knew anything about 731. Well, all we knew is that we were getting all kinds of shots and things like that, but they were telling us at the time that this is just to, to for your health. They didn't have any idea that it was experimentation.
Unit 731 worked overtime throughout the Second World War to provide horrific biological and chemical weapons for the embattled Japanese Empire. Ishii and his scientific team soon determined that the thousands of rats kept at the facility could be used as living flea factories. All that was needed were field experiments to determine the best way to spread disease. And to help Ishii accomplish his first and foremost goal, the creation of deadly and easily deliverable bubonic plague bacteria. 